Oh my god, we're live. We're live, guys. Don't say any cuss words. Oh, I promise. Hey, everybody, we're live. Uh, Wednesday, it is Wednesday. We have a little snowstorm going on out here in Syracuse, New York. And we've got some topics to talk about today, Chris. What are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about a few things. We're going to wait for a few more people to get in the chat because right now we only have zero. But... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, once some people come in, we will start talking. Oh, we got produce in. We got one. Produce, you're, you're. I think you win the prize for being the first one in here every live stream. I yeah. It's like uh, boom. In, in fact, if somebody else, <laughs> I'd like to see like what were you doing right when we started getting a live stream, like bringing groceries in or making. Oh, like, oh god. <laughs> hey. Hey guys. Uh, it's nice though because we can count on produce at least being here. Yeah, we wanted to do it early in case we could catch anybody over there on the European side or. Before you guys go to bed, we did. We decided to do it earlier today. If we can, we want to start doing them a little bit earlier, just you know, so everybody can see this that wants to see it. You know, Aloha over in uh, Hawaii, transforming vegan here. What's up, everybody? Hazel is here. What's up, Hazel? Um, so yeah, we're going to talk about a few things today. We were, we were, um, we, we filmed the video yesterday, which I'm excited about because, um, I have a video and John's got I a have video. a video. So we're going to kind of like, you know, you watch my video and then it, you, it takes you right over to his video or you watch his and it goes right over to mine. Um, so that was a fun video where we did kind of like, I did, you know, my, my grocery store one where I show you like different vegan things and John does a grocery haul. So, and he's got me filming it. So you had your own like filmer. Yeah, it was um, fun. So we're going to do that. That will be tomorrow. But we were, you know, we drove for about two hours yesterday and we brainstormed a bunch of things that we can talk about in the live stream and we forgot everything. No, just <laughs> <laughs> no, so we have a few things we're going to talk about today. Um, I think one of the things we might touch on is, uh, so you both know that John and I are both long term vegans for well over 20 years, uh, 25 and 20 Three or three. something. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about how it was when we first went vegan, uh, how things have changed, and um, how we, kind of how we, um, you know, how we made it easy to go vegan and how we kind of made it happen, you know, in a time where things weren't labeled vegan. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll talk a little bit about that. We were thinking about maybe talking, you know, we, we talked a lot about not vegan related, but we were talking about Star Wars and like our thoughts on that, you know, growing up with it and how the franchise has expanded and all that stuff. Maybe if we have time, we'll get into that. And anything you guys ask us, we could, who knows, we can go off on tangents and stuff like that. So let's see. We have, we have a few people in the chat right now, so I guess we can go ahead and get started. Hey, where is it telling us how much to... Okay, cool. What I was thinking is I'll write down the time yep. as we change topics, and that way we can just put those timestamps in the um, subject. Well, that's what I tried to do. Like, I tried to have... Um, I Linda think, was going to do it, right? But I think maybe something got messed up with the time zone difference. I don't remember, but yeah, let's... Why don't you do that? That would be great. Um, the other thing... Oh... If you guys haven't seen it yet, a lot of you have, but uh, I did a video on Monday going to Aldi. You know, honestly, I get I get I get criticism no matter what I do. I found when when you're at when you're in the public spotlight and you're doing like videos for the public to see, you're gonna get criticized no matter what you do. So I honestly I don't know how to say it because I've never seen a commercial for for Aldi. I call the Aldi. And I've been told, like, you know, I'm not saying it right or whatever. Um, I do. I know it's from Germany. and uh, But I've never seen a TV commercial or anything promoting Aldi ever. So um, I don't know. I don't really care. I mean, if I, if somebody shows me how to say it, then I'll try to say it right. I used to say Aldi's, and at least I corrected that. I, I call it Aldi, not Aldi's. You know? Kind of like I go to Target, not Targets, you know? Um but yeah, I did a video there and I show you guys, you know, what's vegan and everything. I just want to let you guys know, um, again, I went ahead on Monday and I did a live stream a little bit afterwards because somebody brought to my attention that a product that I showed in that video when she went to grab it wasn't vegan. It had skim milk in it. 
Um, but the product that I showed in my video was in fact vegan. So that just means that in different geographic locations, you might have the same product, but one's vegan and one's not vegan. So if something doesn't say vegan on it, I'm always going to tell you guys, read the ingredients. I read the ingredients anyway, because there's other things that I look for other than being vegan. I mean, for me, I don't do like alcohol or wine or coffee. So if I find that in my vegan products then I don't get it, mm -hmm. um, but it is nice to see something that's labeled vegan. At least you know you got something that's vegan. But um, yeah, always read the ingredients if something doesn't say vegan. Like if you've seen, a, like it was the chewy chocolate chip cookies on my, my channel. And in my Aldi, they're vegan, you know? Uh, but somewhere else, they're not vegan. So just make sure. So that would be a, a really big piece of advice if you're just going vegan. Um, or even if you're a long-term vegan, you know, and you just kind of forget, you know, because so, it's so easy nowadays. You kind of get lazy, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but always read the ingredients because especially at a place like Aldi where, you know, you, they're getting the same product from different locations maybe. I don't know why that is, but. Okay, so the only thing that concerned me is what if – for some weird reason, there was a misprint and they left something non-vegan out of the ingredient list. They would recall it immediately, right? Right, right. But this has been like this and I've contacted them and I've got um, assurance that the product that I showed them was vegan and the sugar was not processed through bone char. So I got double um, confirmation on that. But the product, she showed me a, uh, a screenshot and it said it contained skim milk. So... I don't think that's, unless it's a misprint and it was supposed to be vegan for her, but it wasn't, but I wouldn't trust it anyway. Yeah. Um, I would just stay away from it. And uh, obviously another thing that I, that I talked about in the, in the live stream was, you know, I'm not, I'm not going around, you know, saying like, you know, eat this way or eat that way. I'm only showing people what's vegan. And, uh, you know, I, I know that a lot of these foods aren't the healthiest, and I talk about that in the video at the end, saying they have a, a really great produce uh, section if you want, if you you know choose not to eat the processed foods. But the processed foods are very important for people transitioning to veganism. I believe, and I'm always going to promote it that way because there's a lot of people that are not going to just be like, I don't want to eat grapes and potatoes and corn. Like, um, if I'm going to go vegan, I want to eat, you know vegan chicken and vegan burgers and vegan like because some people just don't really care and that doesn't bother me if somebody doesn't care about you know what they're putting in their body as long i the only the only way i care is if it's if, if it's not vegan then i kind of care because there's a victim involved but if it, as long as it's vegan i don't care what you eat i'm not gonna that's you that's up to you you know some people tend to still be healthy eating junk food you know so anyway hello from germany S kiss. All right. Um, what what other things did I want to talk about? When we went vegan, many moons ago, many many years ago, uh, there was no vegan certifications. Uh, a lot of people didn't even know what the word vegan meant. Most people knew what vegetarian war was, but even then they would think, "Oh, you're vegetarian, so you you can eat fish, right?" And and what about chicken? And they would think like, oh, well, that, that's vegetarian, right? And I'm like, well, you know, put it this way. If it comes from an animal, then it's, then, then if, if it's, if it's a dead animal, then it's not vegetarian. You know, it kind of got more complicated when, you know, it's, I think it's more easy when you say vegan, because if it came from an animal, then it's not vegan. But at first people would just be like, hey, well, and then they, they would just start listing. Well, what about this? You know, what, what about fish? And well, fish is an animal. It's, it's a fish. It swims, it lives, it breathes. It's, if, if you eat fish, it's not vegetarian. Oh, that's pescatarian. Okay, well, okay. Um, uh, so anyway, um, when we first did this, it was a very long time ago, and we had to kind of familiarize ourselves first with, you know, what ingredients we could eat, what ingredients we couldn't. And I think when, when I went vegetarian, it was, it was easy because it was like if it had meat in it pretty much, it wasn't, it wasn't vegetarian. And, and I didn't really worry about eggs or dairy or anything like that. That was fine. 
And then when I decided to go vegan, that's when like, okay, now I got to figure out what all these crazy things that may or may not be vegan. I got to find out about them because there's so many really ingredients. If you have something that is overly processed for whatever reason, I mean, hey, I was there. We did it back in the 90s. It wasn't like all health food craze back then. It was either you bought produce or you bought a processed food. You didn't buy processed food that was healthier, organic, sprouted, all that stuff. It just didn't exist back then. And, or if it did, it, it was very hard to find. I'm probably making a noise every time I hit the table. Sorry. I, t- I tell you and then I do it. I know. I've been doing really well. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we had to find out about, oh, are these mono and diglycerides vegan or not? Like D3, like all that stuff. So... Yeah, we learned the hard way, and we didn't have the internet. We didn't have YouTube. Um, but all in all, I, I never saw being vegan as, as being difficult, being hard. It, it was kind of fun, like, learning. I'm like, I'm learning about the food that I'm eating. And if you look at it that way, it's not a burden. It's not, it's not hard, it, and you kind of make it fun. You're learning while you're, while you're growing, and you're doing a good thing. So You know, and I will say that for me, I was uh... – I was 15 when I went vegan and there was a a shock factor, I guess, because I started to, you know, I had, I had a job. I worked at Quebec farms and I started to shop kind of on my own and I did get overwhelmed at having to look at every single ingredient. What the heck is that long word and is it vegan? And it was a lot harder to research back then. Well, we didn't have Google. Right? Yeah. Now it's super easy because I can have the answer literally in the aisle at Wegmans or I can text you and have the answer almost immediately. But back then in the in the 90s, if, if I didn't know what an ingredient was, I just didn't buy it. And then eventually if I found that it was vegan, I would buy it again. But that's just kind of the way it was. And, and there were a lot of scary things. and Not scary, but uh, definitely a lot of lessons learned. I believe I told you guys the story of the first time I ever tried tempeh. <laughs> Do you remember that story? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried to like <laughs> grate it up on top of a pizza and be like, oh, I wonder what this stuff tastes like. And it was the grossest thing I think I've ever made. Yeah, I that, was only fifteen. What do you? That do you sounds like? pretty gross because tempeh is something that it's it's hard. It's not like it's not like tofu. It's a little bit harder to make taste good. You can do it. I mean, we did it with uh, with Gabby. And yeah. Peter. Yeah, yeah. Well, and I have a good southern fried tempeh recipe, but. I, I guess I just had to make I had to introduce myself to tempeh somehow and I did it that way I, without trying it. So there are a lot of products out there that people might not be familiar with that uh, when you first go vegan, you know, like vegan staples that are more whole food based, not just the the junk food that you can utilize and still make comfort food uh, out of it. You know what I'm saying? Well, we did that a lot in our cookbook too because we didn't really use a lot of processed stuff. We made it all ourselves. Uh, we, we have a couple we, of tofu we, recipes. We but. did use some processed things in there and some of the ingredients, but we tried to do everything like, hey, you can make your own seitan, you can make your own cheesy sauce, you can make your own everything. Right, because a, a lot of the people around the world back then when we released that cookbook, which is what, five, six years ago? Yeah. Um, yeah, 2014. Maybe not quite. 2014? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, a lot of the people in the world, I, I don't think had access to day of cheese at that point yet. Oh no, no. Right. It, it yeah. was like, it was a Canadian and a, and a, uh, North American. Yeah. It was just a North American. Now it's product. everywhere. Now it's everywhere. So we, as cookbook authors wanted to create recipes, not just for people who had access to the comfort, easy foods to make something cool out of it. But you need to be able to make something yourself out of whole foods that you can buy anywhere in the world. Yeah, exactly. Like for instance, like, uh, we have a, a recipe where we make our own vegan mayo. So if you can't or you don't want to buy like just mayo or uh, vegan A's or whatever out there to use it, you can make it yourself with like silken tofu. And um, and Devana just brought up a really good point. Um, she says, I stopped eating animal products five years ago and I admit I enjoyed eating the taste of meat and that's why I like mock meats. But I've started eating more whole foods now to be healthy. That reminds me of a story when I was a when I was a kid and I was dating a girl that you know. They used to be neighbors and she used to yell her brother's name. Connor! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so anyway, her her dad, I used to talk about making vegan sandwiches all the time. I'm like, I got vegan turkey and I got this vegan chicken. It was um and I remember him being like, That's an oxymoron, John. Vegan turkey, it's not and I, I just remember I didn't have what Devana just said is perfect. I didn't I didn't have the uh the, the wisdom to say, you know, Larry, uh, 
I mean, I made up. I'm making up all these names, by the way. Yeah. You know, sir. Actually, uh, the reason why I'm vegan is because I don't want to kill the animals. However, I'm accustomed to the tradition and the taste of yeah. what I grew up yeah, loving. Yeah. The taste of. And that's another thing. A lot of people. I've seen criticism. A lot. I mean, that's one of the. I mean, the protein one is the biggest, but like one of the other ones is like, well, how, you're vegan. All these vegans are hypocrites because they're eating things that resemble. And it's like there's absolutely nothing wrong with that because as long as it's not from an animal, I don't care if it looks like an animal, tastes like an animal, uh, feels like an animal. As long as it's not an animal, I don't care, you know? Yeah. Um, I'll eat a burger. I mean, I, you know, I was kind of uh, hesitant to, eat, to try the Beyond Burger when it first came out. But I, after same. trying it, I mean... It's fine, you know? Um, yeah. Um, uh, Lunahack says, ever find yourself in an eating rut? I'm 10 years vegan, but lately struggling with eating too much junk. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when we first started, we ate only junk. It wasn't until about, maybe for me at least, seven years ago before I was finally like, wow, I'm going to start eating a little bit better. And I've been eating a lot better in the last seven years than I did in the first, what, 18 years but I will say like I guess for the most recent for me it was just last couple months uh you know that with the holidays around you know I'm like all right well most of the time I eat good so I'm going to indulge because it's Thanksgiving we're gonna have vegan Thanksgiving I'm gonna eat a bunch of junk and then it's Christmas time I'm gonna eat a bunch of junk there and now again after you know New Year's and stuff and again I just want to say it's not for the New Year's resolution because I never do those. I, I try to do things all year long, all the time. So I don't have like a resolution. I try to live like that all the time. Mm -hmm. So, but anyway, just because the holidays are over with, uh, I've been eating super, super good ever since then. Like for instance, today I've only, I need to eat some lunch when we're done with this, but um, I got up a little bit late because I have problems going to sleep early. But I had, I made a juice with some of the stuff we bought yesterday. Nice, nice. So I made a nice juice. It was tasty and... Um, now I'm ready for lunch. But anyway, so yeah, yeah, eating too much junk. For me, I don't really know how to explain it for other people. For me, it's like willpower. It's like, yeah, I want to go over there and make some junk right now. And and, and my, my house has junk in it because, you know, companies send me stuff. They want me to do taste tests and stuff. But I try not to indulge in it. I try to eat healthy, you know. Um, I want to make something that's that's good for me so yeah maybe i feel good while i'm eating the junk food but then afterwards i i regret it mm -hmm. so it's all about willpower pretty much um and maybe even having like a cheap food i used to do that with like uh i have like chocolate hazelnut um butter chocolate hazelnut butter or chocolate almond butter and when I was really feeling like I, I needed something, I mean, for me, it was like the chocolate thing. So I'd be eating really good. I'm like, I, I want to like, I want to binge on a bunch of stuff. So I would go in the kitchen. I would take like a spoonful of that, eat it, and then just walk away. And, that and, was I, that. and I was good. And if you can do that, and another thing would be like overeating because I can sit there when I'm bored and just like eat snacks and, uh, you know, it's not good, you know, just to keep eating and eating just because you're bored. So I try to not overeat, you know. Because I can eat a lot if I want, you know? Sure. Um, let's see. What else are we... Uh, yeah, but but back to like, you know, doing this back in the day before there was... Before there were vegan restaurants, because there weren't vegan restaurants, at least not where we lived. And, um, you know, just asking a lot of questions and learning and uh, meeting other people that were vegan, which was very few at the time but you know it just it, it gets bigger and bigger as you know more people and more people learn about it and stuff and seriously it really goes back to like it was the single best decision i ever made at the time not knowing it and um it led me to where i am and i'm i'm so glad i made that decision and i and i i found veganism when i did and you know it's great um another question in here uh something that another thing that you can do uh, by by going vegan is uh, going vegan can, can help the environment. It can help the environment. And right now, you know, Australia is burning. And, uh, you know, I don't know, like, other than, like, doing what I already do and trying to uh, get people to go vegan, trying to trying to uh, inspire people to go vegan and help people go vegan and stay vegan and give them everything they need and, like, answer questions, 
Like I want, I really truly want to help because vegan, there's so many reasons to go vegan and I've never found a reason not to go vegan. There's always going to be trolls out there that are going to try to take you down. But what it really comes down to is they don't feel somewhere deep down. They don't feel good about their choices. They, there is guilt there and that's why they got to make other people feel bad because I don't go around making videos, uh, trying to make anti-vegans feel bad or try to like take them down or whatever but i do response videos to their nonsense pretty much and we were talking about that maybe doing some more responses to the ridiculousness out there um just to educate people and i really truly feel like they they have you know a sense of guilt they won't admit it but they have a sense of guilt for their decisions and they want to feel better so they make these videos and then other people that are also not vegan that know about vegan or don't want to be vegan may feel the same way i'm not saying everybody i'm not like attacking anyone here but there are there's a big anti-vegan community and they say horrible things about vegans and they try to take them down and 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 try to grab it whatever they can to to try to make us look bad um and it just it all falls apart and we never had this before the internet, we were, before the internet, before we even started a YouTube channel, what? I was vegan for already 15 or 16 years before I even started the YouTube channel, and that was 11 years ago. Um, we never had this problem. You know, we just existed. We had fun, and we were vegan, and we did our thing, and we weren't being attacked, and... That's not true. What's not true? We were attacked as vegans. Well, we were made fun of and stuff, but like we weren't like people weren't like people weren't telling us people weren't telling what I'm trying to say is people right now are saying that they're making videos trying to say that this is the most unhealthy you can be, that we're gonna be malnourished, that we're gonna die, that we look like we're that are we're um, prematurely aging, which is all the opposite from what I've experienced in, in my you know, time as a vegan. It, you know, I I agree with what you're saying. Technology has made the oppo the opposition voice just as uh, prevalent as ours, right? So they're able to say all the things that are wrong with veganism. Where do y'all get your B12 from? Where do you get your protein from? Where all the same stuff that we heard when we were growing up, because they would they love that question, because they back then I wasn't able to have all the answers. But now with other YouTubers yeah. that are really really knowledgeable, holistic nutritionists like. Um, uh, Simnet Nutrition, his channel, um, Mike the Vegan, his all of that stuff. Your your stuff. I don't have as good of a memory to remember all the facts on like the health part of veganism, but those videos help the everyday vegans that are just like getting approached by their coworkers that are like, why don't you eat eggs? Well, besides the fact that they're gross and they come out of the same hole as everything else. Yep. Uh, they're high in cholesterol and you can you can actually give them facts and then they don't know what to say so their voice is raising up to try to be like someone's trying to do all the research to prove this wrong because they want what they've always done to be the same they don't want to do that extra you know they don't want to change their tradition or their right. habit right it's just easier not to not to just to put the blinders on yeah and say well that's the way my daddy did it and the way his daddy did it before him I ain't gonna stop the bible says <laughs> I, I had that all often because I was raised as a Catholic and I was told that the, the Bible said that we have dominion over all the animals. You know, and I'm like, bro. Uh, I met, you know, and I'm not religious, but I met a vegan um, pastor or priest and we had a long talk. And because uh, I met him here in Syracuse and then I saw him in Wegmans and he started talking to me and we just talked for way too long. But he had a very good point. Um, if, if you are going to take it the route of religious where, well, this is what the, the God... Well, he says, yeah, um, dominion over animals. We have dominion over animals. And what he meant by that was we have dominion over animals the way God had dominion over us. And and the way we treat the animals is is not the way God wanted. God didn't treat us that way. So why would we treat the animals the way we're treated? Just because we had dominion of them, that would mean that we would try to raise them and protect them from all harms and stuff. Just like God would try to do to us or what we would think God would want to do to us. So why would we turn that around and say, oh, well, we, they're ours. We can do whatever we want with them. And that means, you know, torture, maim, kill, suffer, all that stuff. Um, and, and times are greatly different now than they were back in the day too. Mm -hmm. Back there was a time when you, you may have had to 
kill an animal to survive yourself. But that that doesn't exist today, at least not here in our country. Well, and I want to take that further and say we are evolving, right? I mean, if you look at us over time, you can see us becoming hopefully less violent creatures. I don't know, maybe not with war still happening and all of that. Not to go political, but um, I believe that we are evolving and maybe at some point as a uh, a less intelligent being, we realize that we can get our uh, vitamins. And nu- we didn't don't think about vitamins and nutrients and all that stuff. We thought about our, where our next meal was coming from. We didn't think. Now we oh, have yeah, the, the, the data is the, it, overwhelming. We, it's on our side. The and now, well, now, now we have the capacity as human beings to think the next step, to have empathy, which most animals, I don't know, you, we could argue this, don't really practice empathy if they do have it. I mean, I don't know. Every once in a while in the wild, you will see uh, a mother of one species adopt an infant, orphaned something else. I was just talking about that last night. Really? Yeah, yeah I was. One time, I saw a turtle on the side of the road, and I gave him cat milk. <laughs> and now he's he's a turtle cat. So, um, and, but and I like used that. to be like, I right... Kind of what you were saying a minute ago. Um, I lost my my uh, my thought there. What I was thinking because just so many things are going on. But I used to be like that. Like before we started the vegan zombie, I didn't know all the facts and everything. I just knew I was a lifelong vegan, and that's all I really cared about. I didn't care what anyone thought of me. I don't care. Um, I just cared about like I thought. I didn't think. I didn't even know if I was going to be healthy when I went vegan because everybody told me I wouldn't. I'm like. Well, same. Then that, that's my that's my that's my journey. Then that's my life. That's oh well, that's me. Um, but little did I know, I started feeling more healthy than I've ever been ever. But anyways, I was I was very shy. I wouldn't speak up. Um, if somebody was arguing with me, I was pretty quiet. I didn't know all the things, and yeah, people would try to argue with me, and I didn't know the answers. But after like, um, I think this channel is. I've grown so much through this channel because through this channel, I've researched so much. We've done so much. Uh, we've been a voice for veganism. And with that, you need to know what you're talking about. And now I feel pretty confident. Like I, I know my facts on veganism and I am a long-term vegan. Um, so, you know, I not only can, do I have the facts to, to back up what I've already experienced, you know, that's, you know, according to the anti-vegans, I, I should be dead right now because I should have died a long time ago of lack of, of nutrients. Mm-hmm. But here I am, um, you know, been vegan longer than some of them have been alive. So that's kind of funny. Yes, I know. Well, and, th- and that's that's the thing, Chris. It's like I love the fact that social media is the way it is. The well, I, I say that. I could probably say the exact opposite. However... I wish I had social media as an ally when I was growing up. That's the one thing I can say about the vegans of the future, the, the, the vegans that are now coming along. There are so many ways to look up a recipe. If you're craving something, go on YouTube alone and look at Vegan Zombie. We probably have a replacement for anything that you're craving. But it doesn't stop there. There are other great oh yeah chefs out there that have, that have put in the time and the effort to make things that are uh, – not vegan, you know, give them the vegan alternative. And and I think that's huge compared to what it was 15, 20 years ago before the internet. Yeah, yeah. Or, you know, before everybody had the internet in their hands wherever they were. My, my, my uh, seat's making a lot of noise. I'm sorry. Oh, no, that's cool. I mean, I'm very... Can anim- you guys hear animated. that? You guys, is that bothering? Um, so, yeah. Um, did we cover most of everything? Yeah, I think we just we learn by word of mouth. We would we would learn about like what new vegan things were at different stores, and like oh yeah, uh, hey Noah just found this over at Wegmans. You got to get some. Hey, did you know that the crust at this pizza place is totally vegan? Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, if you don't get the cheese on it, hey Papa John's uh, garlic sauce is uh, vegan. So all these little life hacks that were like word of mouth at like hardcore shows or like passing your friend who lives in another city. Yeah. Uh, Joseph uh, wants to know if I like Indian food. I love Indian food. Um, I actually have one of one of my uh, real videos that did really well was is an Indian dish that I did. 
But uh, but yeah, I think there's a there's a time and a place for um, you know vegan junk foods. And like like I said, like if you only want to eat vegan junk food, then uh, there's nothing wrong with that. I, I hate it when people. Basically, when I go to a, a grocery store to do my videos at grocery stores, like I just did at Aldi, I, I just want to show people what new vegan products they have. Because there's no, there's no sense going and just showing people, well, these are apples. These are organic bananas. Like, who cares? We all know what that stuff is. I want people to know that there's, um, you know, a, a brand new vegan, I don't know, dessert hummus or... or uh, the just egg or uh, whatever, you know, whatever I, I showed in there. Um, just because you can buy these things, you know, and it's also like, if even if you're buying junk food, say you have to pick up cookies for an event, cookies are already junk food pretty much, and you don't have time to make your own, grab the vegan ones instead of the non-vegan ones because there is a supply and demand there. If you're always buying things that are vegan, no matter what, and you know what, nobody will even know the difference. And look at Chris. I mean, I I think that you don't really. Yes, we don't really care as long as people are eating vegan. But I think uh, that's true. But at the same time, you like to inspire people to take that healthy. Food, oh yeah, and you're always doing that. But I want to show people. Yeah. But but it is it is important that there are a lot of people out there that do rely on that comfort food. To feel good at the end of the work week. Yeah. Maybe they've eaten healthy all week and just they miss that cookie that their grandma used to make. And all of a sudden, this other company out there makes a cookie that's very similar that you just don't have time to do. There's nothing wrong with that. Just make sure you're taking care of yourself. But here are some – like what you do is, hey, you miss this? Here's the vegan uh, version of it at Aldi, at Trader Joe's, at Wegmans, wherever. I think that's – the, in my opinion, that's the most important video that you could put out these days. You do a great job at it. Um, you put the time in. I mean, we took, we were there for two hours yesterday. We were? Yeah. We got there at, uh, at 12 and we didn't leave until two. And, and that's because I'm not mad. I'm actually saying like, you don't even realize this. I didn't realize it was that because long. Because you were putting in so much work. You spent every time you won't go into every corner, every shadow of that store. And, and like, and when I find something that's not labeled vegan, you I contact call the, the company. company. Like for instance, somebody commented, and this is this was a great comment, but I showed some um, different things on the Aldi video. Like uh, for instance, the raspberry fruit strips. It doesn't say vegan on the package, um, and every and all the ingredients look vegan except for there's that one natural flavors. And 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 again, I I've heard this from a lot of people saying natural flavors are almost always not vegan. That's not true. There, if you find a vegan product. They are almost, in my experience, always vegan. But there is that chance that they're not. So I contact the company and I ask them. And in this case, I contacted Aldi and I said, hey, there's a couple product I have uh, a question about. Natural f flavors in this. I, I understand you cannot divulge the exact ingredients and natural flavors, but I want to know if it's vegan friendly and they're not coming from animals. And they get back to me and they say, yes, these are, these are all vegan. So now I know that that product is vegan for whatever reason. It's not labeled vegan. Not everybody labels their products vegan. And sometimes, did we did we cut out? Are we still here, guys? Can we, you guys hear us? We, it looks like we just lost everybody. It says we have zero people watching. Anyway. Okay, people are there. People are there. People are there. It just says we have zero. Okay. Can't, can't hear us. I don't know about... Yes, we can hear you. We can hear you. Okay. Okay, good. Sorry. We just didn't tell us how many people are in there. This is really weird. It says zero people watching. <laughs> so anyway, sorry, Chris. I didn't mean to totally take your thought away. I don't even know what I was thinking. I just know we have zero people watching. Let's see. That's really weird. I'll still go if there's people yeah, here. Yeah, we'll keep going. If something, just let us know if something pops up, you guys. Cause, uh... Some people are saying 63 people, and I'm seeing zero. That's really weird. I'm not a zero. <laughs> what was I even saying? Oh, um, yeah, different. I always ask about that, and I always ask about the sugar. Is the sugar processed through bone char or not? I did a whole video on that, and I know that that you know some people they they don't worry about that. Um, but I just want to give you know, I just want to show people like these are vegan, but the sugar may not be. Oh, and uh, that's that's my point. Is like. You put in a lot of work for for this uh, for these videos, and it's literally here are all of the things that are vegan at this store that are or, or new vegan things, and it's it's really awesome. So, good job. 
something popped up, but it isn't related to this video. How will you, how will I respond to what? I don't understand the question. Do you? No. Okay. I, I'm not understanding. Clickbait. What's going on? Did something, are we getting hacked? Oh, did I, uh, did an ad pop up that's not? Oh, now it says 63 people are watching. Oh, we're good. We're good. Okay. Yeah, there was no technical difficulties. I don't know what was going on there. Um, what was the other thing that we were talking about? We're trying to we're trying to make it easier to be vegan. Okay. Oh, oh. So we want to. So we want to keep going with vegan stuff. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm sure we could go on for a long time, but is is there a couple other things that? There's so many thoughts going through my head right now. Back to um, uh, just for those that had questions about the Australia thing. Um, honestly. Other than going vegan right now, that's the best thing you can do as a single choice for the world. But I don't know. I don't know what to do because I shared a, a fundraiser on my Facebook, and shortly after, I found out it was a scam. And you know that that's the problem with fundraisers. Everything's a scam. You don't know what's a scam, what's not. So um, I deleted it, and I I don't know. I don't know. Um, so yeah, back to, uh, what else were we, were we saying? We're talking about what it was like to be vegan back in the day. So anyways, so the good thing is nowadays in 2020, it's never been easier to be vegan. It's, it's mainstream. It's finally mainstream people. Most people know what vegan is and, um, it's easy to shop because of, uh, you know, videos like mine and so many others out there will show you either how to make something, uh, or how to go and shop for something, where to go and shop for something. And, and the other thing, Chris, I'll say um, growing up as a teenager that went vegan like in high school and stuff and not having an internet connection. I, I can't read Russian, guys. There was a time when I was learning it, but I just, I don't know it. Oh, and Marina, I did. I just got it today. I had to, right before I was going live, so I, I got to read it. But I got your Christmas card, so thank you. Um, what were you saying before I rudely cut you off? Um. Oh man. I don't know if you ever felt this or not, but like, there was only like one or two other vegans around me when you were living in Florida before we were friends. I just knew you and like you inspired me, but you were like, we weren't friends. I was friends with your little brother, right? We weren't, we didn't start hanging out until two. I graduated, right? Yeah. So I guess my question is, did you ever experience like, like just feeling alone? Like you're the only vegan, like, like you're not the crazy one, but like. Yeah, but I felt alone on a lot of things. I was the only straight edge person there. I was the only, and I was the only <laughs> vegan. So. It didn't matter to me, um, and I liked the fact that I was vegan. And I, you know, I didn't. If there was nothing for me to eat or to, at, at some place that I was, I didn't mind waiting. Like I was very healthy, active skateboarder. I just waited until I was at a new place and I would get something to eat. It I, I was no, I, you're right. I was the same way where I wouldn't. I kind of wouldn't push the envelope at all. Like, yeah. I do remember, like for my prom. <laughs> My girlfriend's prom. She was a year older than me, and I was a junior, and she was a senior. I was a sophomore, or whatever. And one of the guys that was uh, a couple of years older than me called the restaurant and had to make sure they had like a vegan pasta dish for me. And that was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. And if I was like Something blown away that, that somebody went out of their way to like call like, yeah, well, they have a olive oil, garlic and pasta with some broccoli. And I'm like, dude, at least I'm not sitting there like the weird vegan in the middle of the restaurant. That you was kind of cool. I went to, well, I've been to many weddings where they've catered to me and, and you know, sometimes it's, it's total bare minimum but this one time i asked i talked to the chef um i forgot what wedding it was at but um they i i maybe it was jay's wedding i was like the best man yeah it was it was jay's wedding so i was his best man and uh so if i wasn't like the best man they probably wouldn't have talked to me but the chef my, he made sure that we talked and everything and uh he's like yeah i'm like do you got anything v so anyways long story short he he brings out, or everybody else gets their food, and then I get mine, and mine look better than everybody else is out there. And everybody that's not vegan is looking at me like, where'd you get that? I'm like, oh, this is a like, special vegan one. And they're like, oh my God, I want, everybody wanted it. Um, it was really good. But yeah, stuff like that. Well, and Luna Hawk just said it too. Like, even now it's not socially acceptable in rural areas to be vegan. 
it's I guess it hasn't changed that much because that's kind of Chris and I both grew up in in very similar areas where like people are like what's well, vegan? Yeah, uh, you know, other than a few friends that I had when I first went vegan. There, like I was usually the only vegan wherever I was, you know, so it was alone. But, you know, know that you're not alone. There's so many people. If like you could easily connect on, you know, I, I, what we're doing right now, like live stream, social media. Um, if you don't have a uh, like a vegan group in your area, like, for instance, we have a couple. We have uh, Plant Based CNY. We also have Syracuse Vegans. And if you become part of that community, you meet other vegans, you go to potlucks, uh, you do things together as vegans. They're always posting like, hey, Wegmans has this, or you know, Aldi has this, or Trader Joe's has this. And like now you know all these places where you can get vegan stuff and where you can go to hang out with other vegans. And you know, we had a big dinner with what, 25, 30 people went to? Yeah. At the, at the Noodle House? Yeah. 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 So it's so much easier today to meet like-minded people so you don't feel alone and feel like it's futile to, to be vegan, to stay vegan because... Well, and Devana just said um, that's that's why um, she, she re- relies on the internet, for, on like our channels, your channel, my channel, these lives, because when you don't know anybody else that's vegan, I'm sure it can be, I mean, you know, it can be frustrating. Well, if you don't want to meet any, then, you know, uh, well, that's what Robert says. He doesn't want to meet oh, any. Oh, oh, oh. If you don't want to meet any vegans, like, that's one. Uh, personally, I didn't either when I, like, <sighs> vegans annoyed me when I first went vegan, okay? And that's why partly I made the vegan zombie the way I made it. Because I never liked the, I had friends that were, like, the in-your-face preachy to the point where, like, it was just ridiculous um, militant vegans, you know? And I'm like, I don't want any part of that. You know, I'm a vegan and I, I, I find myself not liking other vegans at the, at the time. Um, so when I made the vegan zombie, I wanted it to be inviting. I didn't want it to be um, an in-your-face judgmental place. And, and, I, and there were certain things I didn't want to post and certain things I did. So I wanted to make it like a fun, entertaining, inspiring thing that would draw people in, make people say, hey, I can relate to this. I can do this. And next thing you know, you got, you got yourself another vegan. And that's what that's what's worked best. And I still to this day think that that works best than like shoving it down someone's throat. See, I I always come back to this. I agree. I I signed up for it with you with the vegan zombie, but I still have I ever gone to a demonstration? I have never gone. Um, but I respect those people because I still that's believe other, yeah. all of these avenues, like you are reaching people and creating uh, new vegans that way, but so are these people. So where, are those Where people. they might push people like us away that don't like that kind of atmosphere. They are they are still grabbing people like, I had no idea and you know what, I'm going to go home and I am going to, but I do agree. Sometimes it kicks up a lot more dust and, and, and it frustrates people and it, makes, it gives them a bad taste in their mouth, yeah. which is a scary thing because you don't want to... You know, I remember there was a guy in college that said, for every animal you don't eat, I'm eating two. Yeah. And it's like, what do you say to that? Yeah. Give them a knuckle sandwich? That's what you want. <laughs> That's what you want to do. Um, but, no, but but honestly, um, I, exactly. That's I think that there's, even the people that are doing what I don't want to do, I think they're, there's a small percentage that I think are going too far where I think it's doing more harm than good. But for the majority of the ones that I'm talking about, I think that even th- there is even a place for them that is doing good for some people and for the animals. Um, but I, I don't know. I, it's just not something that I wanted to do on my, and I think what we're doing is good because we're, you know, we're finding our audience, whereas they're finding an audience. Well, you know, Chris, it's funny that you say that because before the vegan zombie, I feel like we were still the type of vegans that the vegan zombie... Bye, Devona. Bye. See you soon. I hope I've been saying your name right. I'm sorry if I haven't. I, I may have said it wrong. <laughs> so, Chris, we've, we've always led by example. Even in the 90s and the early 2000s, a lot of our friends in our circle at the time were vegan because we... We didn't force it down their throat, but we always had this delicious food in there and... and you know, my girlfriend at the time was vegan. Um, a couple of our other friends were vegan, and they're not any longer. They're not in our circle. Let, yeah. Go ahead. What were you gonna say? 
Did I interrupt you? I didn't. No, no, that was that was okay. That was it. I I just want to I just want to say this. Um, the way that this that some of the militant vegans are. Don't get me wrong. I feel exactly what they're feeling when when I when I see that people are needlessly sticking tradition tradition and continuing the animal suffering. I I agree with what they're what what they're thinking and doing, but the thing that differs from me. And you know this is this is me. This is a lot of people, but for for me personally, I see the reality of the world and the reality of how people are, and I use my logic to say, look, if somebody came to me and said, you got to do this and you got to do this now, I'm gonna say, you're telling me what to do. I'm not gonna do it. That's just how I am. That's how a lot of people are, and the way that they're going about this, I agree with everything they're saying, but I'm gonna try to do the job a little bit differently. I'm going to try to win these people over and realize that most people are not going to do this overnight and most people are not going to, um, you know, want to be told what to do or judged like that. Some people, yeah, that's what they need, but other people, like I'm trying to get the popular vote by, uh, by, by, by showing people, by bringing people in and then showing them, you know, Hey, this is why, and this is how easy it is. And, and I can help you go vegan. You know, I'm gonna be doing another series with uh, with a good friend of mine, Josh, who has been. This is somebody that I never would have thought would ever go vegan. Uh, Which I, Josh? Brother-in-law? No, no, Josh. Um, well, I don't want to say his name. But tall, tall. Okay, Josh. okay, okay. Um, is this, he vegan? This is somebody who is like a hardcore meat eater. Meat eater for uh, I've known him for 20 years. Hardcore meat eater. Um, forever, just you know, would laugh. He would he would eat some vegan food that I had. But yeah, he was open, but definitely didn't care. Like, yeah, just yeah. ate whatever he wanted to. Well, he called me the other day and said, "Chris, help me. I'm going vegan." And I'm like, "Are you serious?" He's like, "Yeah, I'm doing it." And and so is my girlfriend, and I want to document it with you. And I'm like, "This is awesome." So he's already cleaned out his uh, you know kitchen and you know started getting. And and I want to help him, and I want to and I want to document this, and I want to show like this is somebody that that I just kind of at the back of my mind would say like okay, there's certain people that are just no matter what you do are never going to go vegan. He's he's still my friend. I have friends that aren't you know vegan, but I have family members that aren't vegan. But this is somebody that I never thought was going to go vegan, and and now here we are, 2020. And I he still like my help. I didn't know that until you just said that. That's really cool. Yeah. So will he come on? The channel. Yeah, like, I want to do some videos with That's him. That's really and, cool. And, and doing this with him could show other people that would never think that they would ever ever go vegan and don't know where to start. The bare roots, you know. Like, you should call it like you should call it something like vegan for a meat eater. Yeah. Something that people like want to click yeah. on and be like, look at this big giant six foot fifty man. Yeah. He's he's six seven and a half. He's huge. I could take him in a fight <laughs> though, probably. Um, but the one thing that's this is pretty funny because he um. I, I can't even concentrate. With I know. Like Sorry. That. Can you guys even hear us? Or should I go down and get Indy and tell him to stop? I'll put him it? in a headlock. Um, I will. No, I won't. What was I gonna say? I don't know. Oh, he tried the vegan, uh, the vegan wings, the Maywell wings. Yeah. He likes those better than he likes. Actual... And that was before he was even trying. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he would always. He's like, hey, do you want to go uh, to Stronghearts and get the wings? And I'm like, hey, yeah. Any anytime I can get you to not eat. Animals is, is a win for me. Anyway, oh okay, we've we've talked about a lot today about trying to help people go vegan and, and our. Well, it was funny the the car drive yesterday. We got ourselves we we talked the whole time and I was like, man, I wish we could be recording while we were driving because we have a lot of insight on this. Yeah, and 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 I think it can spark a lot of thought in people to watch it because you know. I'll, you know, every you've gotten this a couple of times. People have asked you, "What do you do for, for veganism?" Yeah, like expecting you to like expecting an answer like, "Well, I go to these protests and I do this," and and you do a lot for veganism. Those those type of people that need you to do those three things are not seeing the broad spectrum that you see, and and that's what when you tell them, "Well, this is what I do. I create this channel. I create all these recipes. I show them." How easy and fun this lifestyle can be. It's not scary at all. We are regular people that just don't kill things. And and uh, I don't know. That's just, I don't I think know. That's like, a good I, avenue I, that you took. I think that this this whole channel that that I created here 
is just it's done so much for veganism and 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 for me growing as a person you know i i uh and i'll be uploading a video because we talked about that last week with it made me grow as a person to become more confident like i could never not speak in front of um in the public i and now i can i couldn't be in front of the camera and now i can um i i've you know, like we started the channel back in the day and we've helped so many people go vegan. We've we've come out with a cookbook. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know. I still get messages from people. Yeah. Personal messages that are like, hey, the, thanks for the vegan. Thanks for all those videos with the vegan zombie. I'm vegan like six years because of you guys. Like, whoa. And it still, it still makes me smile every day, you know, every time I, I hear it. And honestly, um, I there are very judgmental vegans out there. I'm not going to say that, you know, but... There are vegans that make veganism look bad, and that's bad for the whole movement. I don't like that. Um, I think we should all be on the same team and uh, do this together. But, um, you know, unfortunately, that's that's just the way it is. Some people, this is the question that I really never liked. And when, when somebody's, like, judging you, like, oh, you're vegan. Well, so am I. Well, why are you vegan? Why are you vegan? And, and, the, and, the, and the one answer they want to hear is for the animals. Um, but I, but for me, I think it, I think vegan for everything, vegan for everything, vegan for the animals. Yes. Vegan for my health, because if I don't take care of my health and I die 10 or 20 years prior to, or earlier than I should, because my health is crap, then that's 10, 20 years. I can't do more stuff to advocate for, for animals, for the environment, for so many different reasons to be vegan. Um, but I really don't care. Like I don't care why somebody's vegan, as long as they're vegan. I don't care if they're only vegan. Um, I mean, for even the most shallow reasons, like to be, I, I'm vegan because I want to be popular in this. I don't care. As long as you're one less person consuming animals and making animals suffer, I don't care. On to the next person. Let's try to get somebody else to go vegan. I don't care. Mm -hmm. I agree. Um... Should we move on to something else? Or you guys want to, what, what else, any other questions? I know we missed every question here. Well, yeah, but we, we covered a lot of good stuff. I mean, we started at minute eight and it's now minute 51, all about veganism. And you know, it, and it's more about being that lonely vegan, really, than anything and, and how to. If you're lonely and you, and you, there's so much, there's so much support out there. You wouldn't even, like, you can there's Instagram accounts, there's Facebook accounts, there's YouTube channels. You can watch other people, how they did it. There's, there's podcasts like, like what we're doing right now. There's, there's so much out there. And, and we came from like, you know, bare grassroots where like, we didn't know anybody that was vegan. We didn't have these support groups. We didn't have YouTube. We didn't have Google. The internet didn't exist as it is, you know, cell phones didn't exist. We just did it. And we had a group of friends that would, you know, hey, on uh, Thanksgiving, let's get together and I'll make a, a dish and hang out and have fun. And I have some of those on video, you know? It's funny, but... So, um, I don't know. Did, I guess we could probably keep going on about that, but um, I think I'm all out of uh, things to talk about unless somebody asks a specific question on that, but... What else were we were we going to talk about today? Well, the only thing we were going to talk about Star Wars, and I just wanted to say while you were talking, have you have you you haven't started the Mandalorian yet? I have. You have. Okay, so you know that the Mandalorians have a saying, right? What? Wait. What, can we talk about that without being a spoiler? Yeah, yeah. It's not going to give anything away. They just. It's kind of like saying "Peace be with you" or "May the Force be with you." What do they say? They say this is the way. Okay. And I'm like, as you were talking, it's like. This that's, is the way. That's what veganism is. This is the We're way. a bunch of Mandalorians, and this is the way. Vegan is... I'm vegan for everything. And uh, that being said, we did talk about um, Star Wars on the drive, and I think it's important because you brought up a good point. It, it really... I think it's about nostalgia more than anything. You want to go down that road yet? Do you want to Wait, what's going... Wait, I'm like looking at the chat here. Wait, Race, Chris said you can be shallow... Are you talking about me? I didn't call oh, anybody no, shallow. No, it's because race, race. Come on, we're trying to be serious here. Race only is only vegan for the chicks. Oh, okay. Chickens. Um, I don't care why somebody's vegan. It's funny because uh, Josh, the guy that I was just talking about who is going vegan, he just texted me and said had the greatest fro frozen 
chicken today ever. Vegan chicken. Chicken. That's awesome. Oh, that's so. Doesn't it like make you so excited to see that? Like, yeah. Josh of all people, who would never. Yeah, he just had like, and um, and he's having his girlfriend do it with him. Like, she's like, "Can we actually do this?" He's like, "Yeah, we're doing it." And um, so I'm I'm excited about that. What else do we have here? I, I don't know what's going on with the the shallow liar oh, stuff. Oh, race is just. Are we just are we just joking? Yeah, around? yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. I, I yelled. I yelled at race, and I'm sorry. I hashtag I blame John. Blame John. Because you were saying you don't care if it's for shallow reasons. I don't and, care. I don't and care. Ra- and race is like I'm only vegan to meet girls. <laughs> I'd, I'd say yeah. I'd say that's pretty shallow. But whatever. If it, if it works for you. How are you okay with being single? I, I guess I don't think like most people. <laughs> uh, oh, bye, Linda. I'll see you. I'll, I'll see you. Ne- I'll first. I'll, I'll see you next Tuesday at the live. See ya, hopefully. Linda. Uh, I'll probably be doing. Uh, I'm gonna be doing more Twitch uh, this week. So. And our video is going to be up tomorrow. Oh yeah, we need. I need to. Up, I need actually, to, I'm going to go edit that right after this. Yeah, and when and I'm going to edit mine too. Are you, I usually upload? What time can you upload yours? Tell me. You tell me what time. I usually have it ready to go at eight in the morning. Okay. Okay. So, so I'm going to schedule mine. I'll right? schedule mine as well. Yeah, and then at eight o'clock they'll both go up, and then. Is yours going to be on the actual vegan zombie? Channel? Yeah, yeah, and oh, I wow, need, that'll probably give me some subs. Yeah, I need to get a, a link for your video too. So you'll put my link in your video when it goes up, and, and vice versa. Yeah, I'll just text or, it to yeah, you. I'll, yeah, whatever. What else are we are we talking about here? So we were talking about Star Wars, Boba, or uh, Mandalorian. You know what? That, that would probably be a whole podcast. I, yeah, itself. I feel like this is actually a pretty good stopping point because it's an hour long. I, not that I don't want to keep hanging out, but like this was a good... Well, we don't have to move into the Star Wars one yet. Maybe we just keep talking vegan? Yeah, maybe we could keep talking for a little, maybe 10 more minutes or yeah. so if we get any... I'm fine. I came early for the, for this, so I'm, I'm good. I just need to take all those files from you. That's all. How many tattoos do you have, SZ? Um, I mean, I don't know. I guess if you count this as one tattoo... Which I do. I don't want to count each individual thing, right? I got all this done the same time. So that's one. Tattoo. So this is one, and then I have one over here, and then that's it, right? Yeah, I do have. I would love to get Sophie tattooed as a chess piece because she's the best thing that's ever happened. We should do the live stream. Um, <laughs> Just but uh, but you need to find somebody that will do it for free because money. Yeah, I'm broke <laughs> right now, but I I we. I've got a we've got a lot of really exciting ideas coming up. I, I think this is going to be our year, man, for sure. Okay, is De- are Deacon and Race really fighting? Stop it! Are we really? Is it real? Is it real? I can't tell. Uh, are you introverted or extroverted? I would say that I am an um, an extroverted introvert. I'm. By nature, I think I'm an introvert. And I'm an introverted extrovert. But I can be an extrovert if I'm in a situation where I have to be. But I can't, I guess for me, I can't be fake. I can't like be fake. So when I'm around people that are fake and it happens, um, I don't like being there because I don't like the fakeness. Yeah. I don't like being like, I, I'm like, hey, how's it going? Oh, it's so nice to see. Like, I don't like that. I'm yeah. just more like me. Yeah. I, honestly, I feel like that's a thing with, with certain empaths as well is, is when you um you can sense fake conversation and you just don't want to be around it. Good. How's the weather? How are you? Okay. And the kids and the family. Ugh, everybody has these same conversations. Yep. Gary Harden Jr. says, we influenced a couple at church to go vegan. Now my pastor's wife is asking questions. That's, that's, that's pretty amazing. Awesome. And maybe maybe they'll go vegan and then they'll start talking about it to the, the church. Oh. We're, we're here to take your questions now for the end of the stream. Oh, good idea. Um, so John has two tattoos. I have one in a, in a, in a mistake, so kind of two also. What if the, you put the two together? Does something magical happen? Right there. <laughs> yeah. Vegan metalhead's name is Josh. Okay, we'll try to remember. A couple that. of Joshes. Just a couple of Josh. 
No, my wife, uh, Kristen, was not vegan before we met. She uh, she was in and out of vegetarian, and she was vegetarian when we started dating, and then within a, a year she went vegan, and all on her own too. I I just support. I said, look at. I'm here and to she help was you. Sick too, so like, she was sick. Yeah, I think honestly, it's helped with her, her health issues. So, did Josh and his girlfriend change? You're talking to me. Um, yes, he's doing it for health. He's doing it for health, and he knows that I've been right all this time. So he's <laughs> reaching out to me, and he's doing it. Um, that's I can't. I still am in shock. You, yeah. Wait, wait till you guys meet Josh. He is a giant of a man. He is, and well, I, his voice talks a whole octave lower than mine. He's in the original um, he's video in, that we did for the uh, trailer. He's in Big Fish. He's not. He's the big giant he, in that he's movie. Not. He's in my uh, vegan zombie trailer that I did in 2011. Yeah, he eats the bur- he's the burger. He either. eats the burger. Um, so I wanted him to eat like the burger and get infected. Spoiler alert, it's a vegan burger trying to look like a... Uh, uh, oh, yeah, we don't cook no meat. We don't cook no meat. We only cook the meat that don't die. Our podcast is only on uh, YouTube. We have, like, the bare... Me- like, we have, like, the... I don't know. This is uh If we could put it on other stuff, that would be cool, too. But I'm taking John's advice, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these long live streams and, and cut certain parts of them out and then put those clips up on the channel. Like I'm about to do with one that I edited right before we went live. That's why it's important to timestamp these. Uh, this was this whole thing was vegan, but like pretty the much, next yeah. time if we bounce. And Linda was right. You know, we have been kind of all over the place. Yeah. But that's because we hang out with you guys. We answer questions and yeah. we just follow along wherever the topic takes us. It's fun. I know Kung Fu. I know Kung Fu. Oh. What if we... I wonder if there's a way that we can like have a Street Fighter game and have Deacon play race on live stream and we can see who wins the Street Fighter. Ooh. And then whoever wins has to... Uh, they have bragging rights. They have bragging rights. They get a free Vega bar by, from the vegan zombie. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's been a long, long time. Um, Vago just wrote to me last night and they said they're up for an award for best, uh, best vegan candy. I'd vote for that. Who? Ve- Vago, Vago bar. Oh, oh, nice, nice. Vago bar. Is that what I said? Yeah, I just was reading. Um, Linda wants to know if you're yes. doing a, a vegan cut. Um, I always do a vegan cut when they send it to me, so I haven't received it yet. Unless it is it. Actually, you know that gets sent to my parents. I haven't been to my parents' house in a while, so I got to find like out. There's like thirty boxes there waiting for you. No, there's only one. But um, I yes, I will be doing a live stream over on the other, the main channel for that. Ooh, Birdie's got a really good question. Do you ever see yourself stop being vegan for any reason? There are some YouTubers who have claimed to be vegan who stop. Your thoughts? You go first. Yeah, there's a lot of people out there that are on YouTube for whatever reasons, and I've addressed that in like the the ex vegan video. There's nothing. No, I would always be vegan. Um, when I went vegan, I made that decision for life, and I've already been doing it for a quarter of a century, and it's it's done it's done me good. So there's nothing in my mind that would say um, I'm not going to be able to carry on unless I have this animal product. So for me, I don't consider animal products to be food. So yes, I personally will always be vegan. It's a decision I made for life, always. I, I, and I love animals. I, there's nothing in my mind that would be like, you know what? I don't care anymore. You know. So yeah, I mean, I'll say, especially for me, um, I'm the co-founder of Mockingbird Animal Farming, Mockingbird. You don't even know how to Animal say it. Sanctuary, <laughs> <laughs> and um, being on like the front line of like dealing with animals that have either been neglected or would have otherwise been slaughtered, like be- being right there with animals, I could never see myself eating an animal product ever again, ever. Yeah. Yeah. Ever, ever. Like, we've already been vegan for more than half our lives. Anyway. Yeah, I was reading. Yes, you're right. Um, so, yeah, that's the other thing for me. Um, I was only 14 years old when I made the decision to go vegetarian, which I credit to where I am now because if I never went vegetarian, I probably never would have went transitioned to being vegan. So what, where it started for me was 30 years ago. 
And that was only 14 years of my life that I lived back in the late 70s, early 80s, where I was eating meat and dairy, you know? So that was a long time ago. That was almost a lifetime, 30 years. So yeah, I, I'm still, I'm not missing it at all. It's to me, the, the thought of it is um, disgusting. Now, when I first went vegan, what are you doing <laughs> over there? You're like, when I first went vegan, I was kind of missing uh, cheese pizza for a little bit, but that that feeling went away a long, long time ago. I, there's nothing that's not vegan that I that I say, oh man, I, I missed that. Because there's so much that we can eat as a vegan, and it kind of opened up my profile to like all these different foods and different cuisines after going vegan because I had to like start learning. Well, well now I got to figure out what to make because nobody else is going to cook for me. My mom doesn't you know, know what to do. So I was on my own at first. Same. You know, the only thing is that's, that's another important point you brought up. I was a stubborn young little kid when I was vegan and I didn't care about my own health. And I was, I was a brat about it where I was like, I'll just eat peanut butter and jelly. I don't need anything. Who cares? And I got really sick. I actually had to go to the doctor and my, my doctor because you were your only peanut butter jelly sandwiches. She made me feel really stupid because I'm like, I don't care, blah, 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 whatever. And she's like, we're, my whole family's vegetarian and we all take vitamins. We take care of ourselves. Don't be stupid. You're going to end up blah, blah, blah. And I kind of, yes, I eat peanut butter cups for a living. But at the same time, you were just a kid. Yeah. With not a lot of knowledge and you were doing something. So you weren't being stupid. You were trying to get by. You needed to eat and you knew you had to eat something that wasn't animal. I was being stubborn though because I could have eaten a banana. Oh. Hitting, you know, like instead of... But like, I was the same way. I was junk food. And I didn't care because I felt good. I was in good shape. I skateboarded every day. I could eat the most junk I wanted and not gain weight. Yeah. You know? Yep. And that's what I would do. And, and that was my philosophy. I would say, look, guys, if it's vegan and it tastes good, I'll eat it. And then it kind of got to the point where I'm like, if it's vegan, it tastes good, and it's good for me, I'll eat it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So uh, Brooklyn says... Guys, I've got my mom using Cook and Survive. That's our cookbook. Uh, so she can see how I eat. She tried the post-apocalyptic pot pie. That's one of our favorites. I think that's the most under... Um, underrated. Yeah, underrated video we have. Yeah. And she needs to give it uh, my ebook back or my book back. Um, that's awesome to hear that. Um, that's I've been... I made that a couple times in the, over the holidays and so did Noah Craig. And the post-apocalyptic pot pie is amazing. Still holds up. Yeah, yes. for all these years. Oh, so uh, Queen Goddess uh, just found out that the sugar is not processed through bone char over in Nova Scotia. You know, the good thing is, is a lot of other countries, they don't do that. I know a lot of places in Europe, this is what I was told. So uh, if you get like a product that's from most places in Europe, it's not processed through bone char. Like Germany and stuff, I think, I think Justin was telling me that. somebody was telling me that they don't do that over here, so that's good. They phase that out. Back they're in they're years ahead 90s. of us, right? And that yeah, that's awesome as far as that goes. So like, if you see sugar, you know it's vegan. So I think like that's like the speculose cookie butter that you find in um, Trader, Trader Joe's. Joe's. It's got sugar in it, but that sugar is not processed through bone char. And then other places you'll see sugar, if it's got the asterisk where it says it's organic sugar, not processed through bone chop, so you're safe there. And then something where you're not sure of, contact the company, if I haven't already debunked it. So now we're getting a bunch of, a bunch of other uh, comments coming in. Hey, Laura, how's it going? Oh yeah, and I and I will be after the video that I film uh, that I've already filmed that we post tomorrow. Um, I promised you guys sourdough is coming. So. Yeah, I can't wait because I want you to teach me. Because that every time you hit make it, it, it looks better than the one before it. I was gonna make a batch today, but uh, I didn't get around to it. Hey, I thought of an idea, you, you guys. What if we both tr message chopped at the same time? And say that we're two vegans, part of a YouTube channel, and we want to be on Chopped if you ever do a vegan Chopped version. Well, I've already been asked to do that, and I've already sent my video resume to them like twice. All right, well, let's try it again as two of us. We could. It might be, because then they don't have to find two other people. Maybe that would be like, oh, there's already two, now we just got to get two more. 
Well, that's what Birdie's saying here. Um, can you get a Netflix show uh, about vegan cooking, tasting vegan cuisine around the world, or just the vegan zombie thrill? I've tried. I've tried. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things that I I think would do great if we had if we had um, a like a TV show with a, you know TV show production quality of my concept of the vegan zombie. Dude, that would appeal to people my age as well as, you know, little kids that are looking, you know, parents like, we want, you know, little Jimmy or Susie to eat better. And um, there it is. There, There's a show on uh, a cooking show that people can get behind, even kids. It's like, oh, they're running from zombies. They find um, a, a kitchen in the middle of a zombie apocalypse on this, you know, nice, awesome set. And they just made some awesome vegan food. And at the end of the show, zombies break in and they grab their food and take off. I mean, that's fun. You know, and, and the next one is kind of like the same thing. They find a new kitchen, new ingredients. They're like, what are we going to make with these potatoes today? You know, we're going to make potato salad. We're going to make it vegan. Something like that, guys. Now watch that show comes out. <laughs> Embrace is the one that does it. Yeah. Would I eat in a day, week videos? I could do more of those, but I feel like they don't really do as well on my channel. I'm uh, starting one on Monday of next week, actually. Yeah, there's a lot of good questions. Vegan, vegan travel tips. Um, going to Vegas to see Chris Angel. Oh, yeah. I mean, we've traveled all over the place, really. Um, I don't know. Like, just always bring a few snacks with you just in case. But, um, yeah, do if you're going to Vegas, uh, I've never been to Vegas, but a lot of people have told me to go. And I guess there's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of vegan places there that people want me to go there for, not just like the vegan. Wait, we're at 11, 11, 11. <gasps> One, what? 11. Oh, no. Oh, I was too late. Um... Do a little uh, Google search before you go and find out what vegan restaurants, what spots are there. So maybe you want to hit up those places and uh, you should be fine because I hear that there's some pretty good places there. <laughs> Produce says, John, how accurate will your eat in a video day really be? Okay, here's the deal, Produce. I'm actually going to use that shooting of that video as an excuse to eat healthy because I'm literally going to talk about every single thing I eat that day. And then uh, I'm going to stick to it. Uh, Kelly Gaines wants to know, is that, was that, did I say that right? Kelly Gaines wants to know, can you do vegan baby and kid stuff pretty please? My brother is raising two, um, vegan kids, both of my brothers actually, but my, uh, my one brother, Brian has a YouTube channel called, uh, Katie needs a napkin, but he's trying to look for a new name for that channel. And Katie is my niece. She's four, four and a half. And, um, and then my other niece is, is like what? six months old so yeah and they're being raised as vegan kids so check that channel out it's um katie needs a napkin i think i have it on my featured channels over on the side bar over here uh race has a six pack of what i uh <laughs> uh coors light do i want kids someday i i i See, my problem is I don't ever want to grow up, so I feel like a kid myself. Even though I'm way old enough, too, I feel like I'm still not. So I don't think I'll ever going to grow up. I'm not going to grow up. Which means I don't really want kids. I mean, my brothers have kids. I can, like, I, I'm their uncle. I'm not a creepy uncle, though. I'm just an <laughs> uncle. Uh, do you follow plant-based doctors? I watch a lot of uh, Dr. Greger stuff when I have when I have questions about certain things, um, and I think I follow uh, Dark Dr. Garth Davis on uh, Instagram. And um, yeah, there's a lot of other doctors out there. Um, I followed Dr. Esselstyn's uh, eating program for a while, and I'm still probably I don't know maybe 70 80 percent true to it. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, I've been eating really, really healthy the last week or so after the holidays were over. Does John want kids? I do not want children. Um, I my goal, my life, my big life goal, 
is to uh, is to just keep working on Mockingbird, and that's that's like my kid. And I have a lot of fur kids, and Kristen can't have children either. She had to uh, she had to have. She had to have her parts removed. You have a video of that, right? Of Kristen having her parts no, removed? No, she talks about it in one of the videos. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. she talks about it in, in um, her cancer video, yeah. her cancer survival video. But I, I, just like you, I feel like I would have had that baby fever by now. I'm 38. Yeah. You're what, 50? Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I, I just don't have that. Oh, no, don't don't be sorry about bringing it up. It's okay. Um. Both of my dogs, yes, can both fit in, in my car. Um, Indy's great at being a pup and doing things, and Zeke is a total spaz. Zeke is a total spaz. Uh, Chris, did you say one time your back feels better when you stop eating junk food? You know, um... I didn't equate those two things. No, I didn't until recently. I saw a video that Mike the Vegan did. Well, we just talked about this, where where uh, high cholesterol and stuff leads to clogged arteries in the bottom of your spinal um, spinal cord, where all of your arteries end up. And um, I did notice that, you know, because I had back problems too. If you guys don't know, you guys can go check out that sciatica video that I had. I had back surgery about 10 years ago. Um, but I also had like lower sore back a lot, you know. And not knowing, I just I just realized, I'm like, yeah, in the last few years, I've been feeling, I haven't really had those the back problem that I normally, like it would, it would suck, you know. And I, you know, but I've done a lot of things to try to like, I try to sit with good posture and I try not to sit for too, too long. Um, and I should probably stretch more, but that's another thing. And I just, I just keep motivated and I keep, I do a lot of exercise, but you know, eating better for, you know, eating cholesterol better, taking those things out that, cause just because you're a vegan doesn't mean you don't have high cholesterol. There's a lot of things like high saturated fats that can up your LDL. And when I went on the Esselstyn diet and stuff, I noticed that I, I felt better all around. And, uh, and my number showed where, uh, showed that in my blood test. So, yeah, that could be a thing. I don't know if that is for, for certain, but it could be, yeah. Well, Bird, oh, hey, real, Birdie uh, wants to hear more about the animals at the sanctuary. Um, you're talking about Mockingbird Farm. Then you guys should check out my vegan homestead channel because every, like, two weeks or so I post a farm video and um, right now we're not taking any more animals in because there's already so much with Eldo being there. Oh my gosh, Janelle and Joe have their hands full and I feel terrible. In fact, I'm trying to move out there so I can become a much bigger part of the farm. I'll still be hanging out with you guys because I can stream from anywhere in the world, Chris. I don't know if you know this. Yeah, that's that's what I heard. Um, let me just go ahead and... All right, I'm going to... Just in case you guys aren't subscribed to John's channel... There's John's channel right there. So he will be... I filmed a video with him yesterday that's going to be on his channel. So that's going to be a good one. He did a grocery haul. Yep. So I got to edit that as soon as we leave here. Definitely subscribe to that channel. Thanks. Yeah. And Thanks, please. The other the other thing that I want to show for some those of you that were asking about vegan kids, I'm going to link my brother's You've channel. You've been drawing it you guys subscribe he's always he's he's really motivated to do videos but he doesn't really have a lot of time and he's kind of getting frustrated that the channel's not really growing but if you guys want to follow him give him there it is there's my brother's channel um so thank you guys for subscribing i guess we can end it right now because we we really got to go home and edit the uh well john's got to go home and i got to go to my other home <laughs> i'm just kidding this is my home your second home yeah um, so thanks for watching everybody uh, as always subscribe to the channel give us the, the thumbs up that'll help boost this and remember we're live every Wednesday every Wednesday we're live unless otherwise stated then we'll do it on maybe a Tuesday or a Thursday and every Tuesday he's live over on his channel and we'll just rant about whatever you guys want us to rant about yes oh Mel and Mel's back and we're leaving <laughs> oh hi Mel and we're Leaving. Sorry, Mel.
No answer for John? Oh, you're asking me if I can take one more chicken? I, I we honestly can't. Yeah, that that's the problem with sanctuary is when you get filled up, there's really nothing. Yeah, I have to build an outside aviary. Still, there's not enough room, and if you add even one more chicken, everybody's gonna get stressed Maybe out, and then all the animals, the quality of their life is gonna go down. And you, I could spend a long time talking about that because that having a sanctuary, even being a part of it in the little way that I am, I've learned so much, and. And it, it is exhausting. It's emotionally exhausting, mentally exhausting, physically exhausting, but it's worth it. It's I wouldn't want to do anything else. So race, I don't know if you're kidding or not, but that's the topic we can definitely talk about uh, one of these days if you ever want. What, blame John? Yep. Let's see all the things that we can blame John about. No, about just a, a uh, I didn't see sanctuary it. stuff. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Yeah, because we're we're both involved with like sanctuaries. We've done several videos over through the whole country, really, of different sanctuaries, um, and you know the the animals there and why people are vegan and you know why you should go vegan. So if you're not, go vegan. All right, guys, it's been fun. I love doing these, so we'll do more of these um, soon. Yep, I'll and see you I, for sure next. Oh wait, Wednesday. hold on. I need to show people that I. I also do Twitch, so I just want to give a shout out to my Twitch real quick. Hold on, I gotta. Don't do. Don't go on somebody else's Twitch. Okay. So. <laughs> so. Oh wait, where are we? We're right here, but we're invisible. Oh. Um. So this is my Twitch channel. If you don't have Twitch, you guys can go over there. It's free. Um. It's a little bit different. I. I just go over there and I and I play uh, different games. Usually EverQuest or The Witcher lately. And we can talk about whatever. Um, it doesn't have to be vegan related. We can talk about whatever. Um, although it, it is, I'm always going to be vegan. But I'm just saying, like we can whenever talk about Chris other is things. on Twitch, he's not vegan. <laughs> That's not cool. They're going to take that clip and they're going to be like, "This is what the vegan zombie said, guys." No, <laughs> it's like looped over. Chris, the vegan zombie is not vegan. I think race is already working on it. Hashtag oh. I blame John. That's funny. My phone rang three times while we were live. Oh, yeah. Same here. Um, Josh wanted to know if the Impossible Whopper was vegan. So I need to talk to him about that. Um, straight edge. Yep. All right. We are going to uh, take off now. But anyways, uh, had fun. We'll see you guys later. Bye, for, guys. for real. For real.